This is Dr. Evan Osar, founder of Fitness Education Seminars. Welcome to this edition of Fitness Insider. We're going to talk about the forward shoulder position with that wing scapula. We know that a lot of our clients had a wing scapula appearance, and a lot of times it's because several muscles are shortened and tightened. In fact, they're actually contracted down. So we want to think about not just stretching these muscles, the muscles that are short and tight, but actually teaching the brain, the nervous system, to let those muscles go. Because remember, the nervous system has contracted these muscles for a reason. Generally speaking, to create stabilization of the shoulder joint and or create stabilization of the core. The shoulder will compress down a lot of times when we're trying to create stabilization of the core. So just stretching this muscle out rarely works, especially when we're talking about the pectoralis minor. Because when we try to do a doorway stretch or a corner stretch, what we're really stretching is the front of the shoulder. We never get that pectoralis minor to release. So what we're going to do is Sarah's going to take us through how to self-release the pectoralis minor by teaching the muscle to contract and then teaching the brain how to let that muscle go. Just like it contracted it down, we want to teach it how to let go, and then we want to teach it how to reestablish proper and optimal stabilization of the scapula on the thorax. So we're going to do the pectoralis minor release, and then I'll show you an activation strategy to get that scapula to start to wrap around the thorax where it should be placed, to promote optimal overhead motion. So we're going to go next to watching Sarah release the pectoralis minor. We can generally see shortness in the pectoralis minor when the scapula is tilted forward, up, off the table in lying position. So I'm going to teach Sarah how to find her pectoralis minor. So Sarah, put your fingers in the sternal notch right there, and then walk your hands out across your collarbone here or your clavicle. Slide down to this little knob right here. You can feel that little ropey fiber right there, and that's your pectoralis minor. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to shorten this muscle down, just contract it slightly with about 25% of your strength. Take a deep breath in now. And as you breathe out, slowly let that muscle go. Relax it and think about your shoulder blade going wide and back towards the table. And you can see this as Sarah releases it, the shoulder blade starts to tilt back towards the table. One more time, just shorten it, contract it slightly, no, no more than 25% of our activation strength. And now slowly, Release it with your breath. There you go. So you're coordinating the breath with the release. And one more time. Contract. And actually, the lighter you go with this, the more effective the technique actually is. Deep breath in. And then as, as you release, release the shoulder, release the breath. Let the shoulder go wide down back towards the table. So again, you want to communicate with the nervous system. Let the nervous system relax that muscle. And after three to five repetitions, you should feel that the pectoralis minor is much softer underneath your fingers. Now that we've taught Sarah how to release her pectoralis minor, now we want to teach her that wrapping function of the scapula, how to get the scapula to wrap down and around the ribcage to activate the serratus anterior, upper trap, lower trap, those muscles that were upwardly rotate and posterior tilt the scapula. So the wall arm slide is a great exercise to follow up to activate the upward rotators and posterior tilters after you've done the pectoralis minor release. So I'll have Sarah step away about two feet away from the wall, approximately. Uh, ulnar side of the hand or the pinky side of the hand against the wall. I'm going to have her step towards the wall and slide her hands up. I'm going to coach her how to cue her how to wrap the scapula. So go ahead and step towards the wall with one leg. She's going to wrap the scapula around. So again, I want her to to understand how to wrap around without elevation. So she gets upward rotation and posterior tilt, and then steps down and controls it eccentrically. And she'll reverse the pattern, and then move with the opposite leg, sliding up, reverse the pattern through the eccentric phase, controlling through the eccentric phase, and I'll have her do five repetitions per side, again, to reactivate the scapular upward rotators and posterior tilters once you've released the pectoralis minor. So therefore, we get the release, we get the activation, and we start to restore more optimal overhead motion for scapular stabilization. So this is how we start to use the principles of the integrated movement system, use our release techniques, our release with mindful release, you teach the nervous system how to let go of those contracted areas, and then how to reactivate the muscles once we taught the brain nervous system how to let go of those chronically gripped areas. If you want to learn more, Check out our videos on fitness education seminars. And again, we teach all these concepts through our Integrated Movement Specialist Certification Program. You can find more about that at fitnesseducationseminars.com. This is Dr. Evan Osar with Fitness Insider. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it serves you in becoming the expert your clients need, want, and will pay for it. Take care.